Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with a vlog because the last time I did one, I was a little upset, so I wanted to make sure I made one that was a little on a happier note. Uh, when it comes to State of Decay 2, I've kind of gotten a little less upset at it, for lack of a better phrase. Um, I didn't record anything uh, for this week because I just didn't have time. I ran out of time doing everything else that I needed to do for the week. But um, when it came to feeling better with the game, uh, I did manage to do that. So uh, I actually have been doing uh, my own community on my own time, and I figured I would show you guys and... Uh, You'll see what I mean when I say that I'm actually feeling better about the game uh, because of really the community I got for this particular time. So let's show you. And this is what I meant when I said that. Uh, we got ourselves a nice little place over here in Drucker County here. Nice little spot over here with materials coming in and a couple of outposts around. You may remember this map as the one I did on... Uh, the stream for Nightmare, and I didn't really progress far past the Vogel house because uh, I was moited. But uh, this time I'm doing standard difficulty on this area, and uh, I have developed quite a community uh, just playing on my own because, you know, I figured, you know what, I'm just going to de stress by playing the game <laughs> de-stress on the game by playing the game uh Aiden here is now a hero ready access mags that is uh I'm not paranoid I just think it's a good idea to have extra ammo close at hand whenever you happen to be sitting wherever you happen to be sitting saves on storage space too uh that probably has something to do with his ammo hoarder <laughs> little tendency there but it works but uh anyway uh, he's not wrong either, but that's besides the point. Um, this is our little community here. Our leader has the same name as me. Be uh, Thomas Randall, who is a warlord. I found it fitting that uh, he ended up being a warlord <laughs> when I started up the game. I, I picked him specifically because of the name. And uh, because he's an old guy, the uh, lines kind of fit up with uh, how I talk <laughs> a little bit. So uh, there was that. He ended up being a blade collector, early riser, and we taught him mechanics skill. We brought him up to auto mechanics, and he's pretty good. Pretty good. Just need to work on his shooting a little bit, then he'll be a certified badass at that point. But we are running a Warlord playthrough with Tom, me, as the leader. <laughs> pretty much. It's more or less me. <laughs> but uh that is besides the point you may have noticed a david over here no i didn't do anything sh uh mod wise <laughs> i should rephrase that uh no i didn't do anything mod wise anything uh uh on the back end with the cloud even though i do have that option thanks to incensio no uh what i do actually think is that because the names were popping up uh, pretty regularly when I was setting up this community, uh, this guy popped up and I was like, okay, let's see if it's anything like the David we knew. Uh, no, it's a different voice actor entirely. Um, this is actually David Ford. Um, he has a positive outlook and he's not entirely uh, the same setup as the David we once knew but he is pretty close striking different resourcefulness is different i'm going to be setting him up with a crossbow at some point backpacking is still the same of course we always go weapon handling because that's always useful on a jam but that's it and we have him working on electronics which he already had computer skill we just bumped him up to electronics because i figured you know Probably a good idea for unlocking the solar generator. 
even though we don't really need it right now. So, uh, we also have Aiden here, and a weirdly named twin Aiden. <laughs> I got two guys with pretty much the same name, just different spelling. Same voice actor for both of them. <laughs> Uh, this Aiden here is Aiden Tilly. Uh, he's a chillness guy. Um, he ended up getting sword play, which I was like, yes! Cool. All right. Uh, he is an annoying, uh, filthy poison. But uh, otherwise, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. Got Luciana here, who is our medicine person, or our medical uh, expert. Uh, she ends up, though, uh, <laughs> she had a hero bonus of medical reference, which grants you a plus one per day. But uh, she also has the feckless. <laughs> the feckless uh, problem, which is she ends up, quote unquote, hurting herself and then using the medicine on that. So there's that useful generally but she'll end up wasting medicine but that's fine because we also have chronic here make the jokes 420's passed but you can make the jokes but uh she also helps with meds <laughs> uh she adds another one per day due to herbalism she came with that skill Yes. Continue to make the jokes in the comments. She makes the weed. Yes. Yes. We know. It is hard not to make the jokes when they are right there. That's probably a thing they did on purpose. Anyway. Uh, Gracie here is one of our newest additions. We have not really interacted with her much. Uh, she's also a warlord person. Uh... Barbecue master, loved camping, perpetual underdog, and puts family first. Uh, cooking, but we don't really end up using cooking all that much. Uh, Dasan here, who is one of our not newest, but a newer addition. I think Gracie was the newest, and uh, since we're at max now, that's pretty much how it goes. Um... Once we get him to hero, he'll give friendly reminders. Volunteer coordinator slept in a tree. Optimist and hates trespassers. That's an odd combo. Uh, <laughs> I'm optimistic about things, but I don't want you anywhere near where I live. Hmm. That also vaguely sounds like me. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, got Nietzsche over here as well. Ooh, she's an odd one um practices ikebana uh which is apparently a skill here kind of nice it helps uh plus six morale plus influence per day and knowledge of the arts uh philosophy major and a knife fighter all i carried for a while was a knife soup cans and eye sockets didn't stand a chance <laughs> uh, i like her but other than that uh, she could have gone uh, close combat or sword play. I opted for sword play because, well, I mean, it's more better, more better <laughs> to have a weapon in your hands than relying on your backup. Uh, or at least that's how I found it. So we went that route. Went discipline, acrobatics, weapon handling. And uh, Tom here, as I've already shown, pretty much all the way around general badass just need to work on his shooting so figured i'd show you guys the community we've been working with for a little bit on my off time and uh gets probably uh at least one of these guys it might be me it's probably gonna be me <laughs> one of these guys will be bringing over to the second run of dread uh before we eventually go to nightmare now i don't know if we will do that directly after the second run 
we might do a third run. But I think I think that's how we're going to do it. Don't quote me. <laughs> anyway, I figured I'll bring it back to my uh, disturbing mug in just a second. But I just wanted to show you guys. This is what we're looking at for a crew on my own time. And uh, I very much like it. Now, I wanted to say, just because I'm okay with the game now and I'm playing it on my off time, which is usually a good sign that I'm going to stick with the game, does not mean that I haven't run into more bugs. Uh, there's one bug in particular where you might have noticed the uh, water station uh, that has been infested. Uh, I did kind of circle over that for a little bit. Uh, that has been a constant problem. I don't know what entirely is going on, but it seems like some of the zombies are getting stuck in a sort of metal boxed area around that pump station, and they're not getting out of it, and there's no way into it, so there's no way I can actually clear them. So that infestation has been stuck there for the better part of most of the playthrough. I don't know what I can do to fix it, uh, but it's just stuck there. There's nothing I can do. Um, that bug on top of the uh, most recent bug that I've noticed is that some communities are coming in and are not being marked as that until they need help, uh, or rather they need to be cleared out. Uh, I ran into a hostile enclave somewhat on accident with Aiden just a little bit ago before I started recording that. Uh, and that was not the best thing to be seeing um, in regards to problems with the game. Uh, I'm assuming that at some point I would have had to clear them out eventually, so that was probably setting them up for that. I don't know, but running into them on accident without them being marked and them, them shooting at me, that's not really the best look to be seeing right now, but hopefully since this is after patch 8, this is something they'll look into for patch 9, and uh, I really hope so, because that's not good at all, and uh, yeah, I just figured I'd let you guys know that I'm on better terms with the game right now, but there are still a lot of issues that I want to make sure are addressed in some fashion. Um, I just didn't get around to recording this time around because I just didn't have time. But I wanted to show you uh, before I went to work this particular community I'm running with. Uh, which, speaking of which, I have to go to work in about a little bit. That's why the door's open. I'm trying to get ready. So, uh, that all said, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. Shout out to SVS on YouTube and Raj Kamal on Patreon for supporting my Patreon and thus supporting the channel. I very much appreciate it. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and vlogging, <laughs> really, and doing a bit of both in a video. It's been a while since I've done that sort of editing, so hope you appreciate it. And uh, playing a new community on my own time, one that hilariously really cool <laughs> cool enough that i think i might be uh I, I, I might be liking the game again and that's a good thing for you <laughs>